Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith. Inside this box is the all-new NASB History Edition Bible from my friends at Humble Lamb. And in this video, we're going to unbox it and see it together for the very first time. All right, I've been looking forward to this video for months. Back in February, I did a video talking about how my friends at Humble Lamb had launched a Kickstarter campaign to fund their new Bible. It's called the NASB History Edition. That campaign, they were trying to raise, I think, $30,000. They blew that out of the water immediately. When I posted the video, they were already over $70,000. They ended the campaign by raising almost, I think it was almost $160,000 to produce this Bible. I'd like to think, I would like to think that the video that I made helped them get a little bit more, but, but you know what? They were doing fine on their own before me, but they decided to send me a copy of the Bible to check out. They just got the shipment in, so they're already starting to fulfill the orders for people that ordered on Kickstarter. And now those of you who didn't get a chance to do that can order this Bible for yourself. Now, lots of different cool color options, a really great compact NA ASB 2020 Bible. I'm very excited to check this out. You might have noticed that I just said compact and that this is a very big box. Also inside this box is the brand new Humble Shield, a new Bible bag designed by the folks at Humble Lamb to carry your Bible. So both of those things are in there. So this is actually a double unboxing video in one big box. Are you ready to check this out? I am so excited. First, I want you to see this. The attention to detail by Humble Lamb is so great. The box, this tape, is like the different logos and things that they have inside there. I also have a new unboxing knife here that we're gonna get into this. Look at how quickly that unboxed it. It totally cut right through that. I'm gonna be very gentle just in case this beautiful calfskin bag is uh, at the top of this thing. No, they've got it nicely packed in there. I'm gonna set that blade away. Here we go. Big box, I'll turn this a little sideways for you. Okay, first of all, Paper, toss that. Ooh, okay, so here we have this in here. That is a cool box. I, you can see I got it in the Sahara blue, and then the bag is very nice and flat in there. I was not expecting that. Okay, first things first, take this big box and get it out of here. That's a really nicely packaged in there. Okay, which one? Okay, I got the NASB History in Sahara blue. It's got the four edge gilt and the humble shield back. So. I am going to do full reviews of both of these. This is just an unboxing and first impressions video. I think that these deserve full in-depth reviews. So you're going to see me see it for the first time. You might be seeing it for the first time. So let's, let's, let's set the Bible. I'm so excited about that. Let's set the Bible aside. Let's do the bag first. So this is wrapped in plastic. I get people asking me all the time, hey Tim, what should I use to carry my Bible around in? I've done a couple videos about Bible cases that are out there. I use one from Sarah Jane Designs. I, I did that video late last year. It's kind of a, a Harris Tweed case. Oh, I have another one over here. This is the, the, the Bible Armor. It's kind of a canvas case from my friends at um, 316 Publishing and Steadfast Bibles. But this is definitely by far like the nicest, most over-the-top version of a Bible <laughs> I've just touched it. My fingers barely touched this, and I was shocked at how soft this is. Okay, shout out. First of all, shout out to my friend Daniel and all the people at Humble Lamb. I've seen the photos of this online, but this is, you can already tell, much nicer even in person than it looks online. This is incredibly soft pebbly, full grain calfskin. You can see those two little circles there. Those are the magnet closures in here. So let me open this up. You're hearing that, that knocking around. That is like these really nice, sturdy metal clasp on the end of it. So if I can rip these off of there, like that is a legitimate, like big old brass ring on the side. So it's gonna come with a strap. This is a beautiful, I would call it a, a mid-brown. It's not like a, a, a British tan. It's a really nice mid-brown color. Do you see that? It's just soft and pebbly. The stitching in there is absolutely gorgeous. This is so nice. So it says Humble Shield. First production, lifetime warranty, handmade in India in small batches. Can you see that in there? So it gives you all the text there on this little label, and then it's green on this side, kind of reflecting off my lights. The presentation, I, I love it when, when Bible publishers, and I've had some rebinders who've really done a great job with the presentation of things. The things like, the, the this doesn't 
you know, change anything, but it looks nice having a little tag like there. This is gorgeous. So there you have that same Humble Shield logo right down there on the bottom. That is really cool. Wow, this is nice. What is this? This is like a Humble Shield. What is this? I have no idea what this is. It's like another little plastic, plastic bag. And it comes with, oh, it's like a little... Oh, that's, oh, it's a bag for your bag. That's what this is. This is, <laughs> you get a bag for your bag. That would slip right over your bag. And there you have the bag in there. That is, that's really sharp. Okay, so I'm gonna set this on the lovely bag that they've included. And you go in here, you have a pouch for, oh, that's like a, this, okay, so inside, there you have like, that's a pouch for like a tablet, like an iPad or something like this. I think it goes up to like 13 inches. I read on their website. This is a strap. Let's pull this off. Oh, that's nice. It matches, but it has a black accent. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Strap on there. It's the same brown on the edges, but it has like a black canvas line on the inside. And then you just clip this in. I know I said I wasn't going to do a full review of this bag, but I am very, very impressed. This is really, really cool. That is nice. That is really, really great. So then on the inside, you get the pouch for the, for the, the, um, Oh wow, this, the, the, the felt on the inside is really plush and it's like padded in there. This is way nicer than I was expecting to be. I'm sure you can tell. I'm, I'm not hamming this up for the camera. I'm legitimately impressed with this. This is so, so nice. Okay, so you have that. You've got a zippered pouch so you can add in some other stuff in there. There's a little label in here. It says lifetime warranty, humble shield. That's really cool, like a label in there. You got little pouches in here for like smaller things like a charger, pins, and then your big pouch in there is where you would slide your Bible down into it. Do I have a humble, oh, I have a humble lamb right here. I'll test out the bag later. This is, this is very impressive. And y'all, I know you're probably thinking, why has he not smelled it yet? My whole studio smells like leather right now because of this bag. That smells awesome. Such a great, oh wow. This is, this is gorgeous. It's not, it's probably not gonna carry like a laptop and a bunch of stuff, but it will carry your Bible. It will carry probably another book. You can throw a tablet in here. This is nice, kind of messenger bag style. That is, that is very, very impressive. Shout out to the folks at Humble Lamb. I haven't seen anything like that on the Bible market. That's really cool. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready to see the NASB History Edition? This is so cool. I love these boxes. This box kind of is this bluish green teal color. Mauritian goatskin, four edge gilt. This, I can tell this is, this is, this is literally so compact. This is nice. Let me slide this out for you. Oh yeah. So I got the Sahara blue goatskin. Look at that. Wow. That's nice. Very, 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 if you've seen a Humble Land before, it, this immediately looks and feels like that. It's just a smaller version. So you have the blue goat skin on the spine. You get four raised spine hubs, and then the Word of God kind of offset like that because this is a small Bible. Look at this one. This has the four edge. It's like a Doré. Gustave Doré is the images inside the Bible, and they had someone make something that was kind of inspired by that. I think the website said it was like an Old Testament and New Testament represent, represent, representation, tough word, of Jesus. That is that is really cool. There's a little card in here with the NASB history on there. A little note from the publisher. That's awesome. I shall set the box aside. This is a great size. This is definitely a compact Bible, but it is thick. I kind of noticed this in the pictures online that it looked like it was going to be a fairly thick Bible. I actually brought a couple of show and tells here so we can just see, compare the size real quick. The most one that it reminds me the most of is the Clarion by Cambridge. Check that out. About the same thickness as a Clarion. The Clarion is actually a little bit wider. So it's a little bit of a wider Bible, whereas the history is a little bit, it's a really great size. It's a thick Bible, but it's a nice, a nice size. Let me just open this up. Wow. So perimeter stitch around the outside. The blue editions come with gold ribbons. This looks really great. Blue goat skin, perimeter stitch around the outside three gold ribbons 
on the inside. So let me show you it this way. There you get, it says history up there in the top corner. Humble Lamb down there. It's kind of like a nice burnt orange, kind of brownish liner in there with matching end sheets. Really great. Oh, this says first edition inside of it. That's really cool. That's a nice touch. Do you see that? It says first edition Mauritian goat skin individually handcrafted. That's a nice touch. I bet all of you who got the, um, oh, I bet anybody who orders right now when they're first coming out or those of you who got the Kickstarter, you're going to get that first edition stamp. That is, this is very, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. Again, I'm going to do a full review. Oh, wow. Man, this is nice. I, I honestly, I haven't looked online to see what the GSM of the paper is, but it's very opaque paper. There you can see the kind of design on the spine, but here we go. Single column. It's an eight and a half point Milo typeface, which is the same typeface that they use in their other uh, other Bibles, and it's very, very readable at smaller sizes. This is very easy to read. It's got cross references in the outer margins, but it doesn't, like this page, you can see it doesn't run the whole page. It just goes the partial width of the page. It's very uniquely designed, and then you get a bunch of drop caps. Now, the way they've done this is called the History Bible. The, the His story is capitalized, and so each different segment, story segment in the Bible gets a new drop cap, gets their own set of cross references, kind of going through the, the, the linear story, the journey through the the Bible in that way. That's why it's called that. So here you see some of those. I love these drop caps. Daniel from, from Humble Lamb and the folks at Humble Lamb have been posting pictures of some of the drop caps online. And these are really, really nice. There's a pop of color in there. Did they use the blue letter for the words of Christ in the new set? Sure did. Blue letter for the words of Christ. That looks nice. It's very, very subtle contrast with the black letter but that's that's really cool so look at this you guys know me i love single column bibles i love something unique and modern and and that's what this bible does this is really cool oh i need to show you it also comes with those illustrations in there so one of the things that they've done with a lot of their bibles is included the um, gustave doré illustration so here you have one in acts chapter 10. so there's some artwork in there just very very creative design on these bibles this is very very nice. So the, I think the entire set, like it's like over 200 Gustave Doré illustrations are in this Bible. Very, very nice. Look at how wide and flat that opens. That's great. Okay. I'm going to go, I'm going to get another Bible. I can't stand up. Well, I could stand up, but then I would reveal the fact that I'm, I'm only wearing shorts right now. I'm business up, to, up top and, and party on the bottom. But, um, it's been hot in Nashville. So this is my NKJV Shepherd. Love this Bible. It's one of the first humble lambs that I saw. You can see kind of the same look and feel, same accents. So I've got a little mini me version of that one. So yeah, it is definitely the same look and feel, but it is thicker than the NKJV Shepherd, which obviously that's that's a little bit thicker there when you see that, but it's the same color goat skin, same look and feel. Might be a slight shade darker than my NKJV Shepherd, which is bound to happen with leathers like this, but this is really cool. This is really, really cool. They are, Humble Lamb is such a great Bible publisher. Um, now they have the KJV Lion, the NKJV Shepherd, and the NASB History, three different translations, uh, three different styles and type settings. This is really, this is really, really cool. Oh, I have one of those too. Okay, you're gonna see the shorts. Sorry about that. Here is the KJV Lion. So real quick, you got the NASB history. This video is getting long. I hope you're having fun. This is the NKJV Shepherd. So it's also single column, outside margin, cross references. It does not have all those drop caps and everything in it. This is one of my favorite NKJV Bibles. It's just, it's just beautiful. And then the KJV Lion is a more traditional two column. It's got drop caps, but they're, they're not as ornate as the ones in the history. Look at that lion on there. That's cool. Um, this is great. These are great Bibles. They look great. They feel great. I'm just very impressed with Daniel and his team. Look at that. Great little stack. The NASB history. Such a cool project that they put it on Kickstarter, that they raised five times the amount that they were going for. That's such a an affirmation of how great of a Bible publisher Humble Lamb is. And then here we have three unique, different Bibles built from the ground up by a really great designer and his team. These are these are these are really great. So I'm very 
Very excited about these Bibles. They look great. They feel great. So if you're checking out the NASB history, small, compact, but looks and feels really, really great. So definitely give it a go. As I said, I'm going to do a full review of the bag. Also impressive. This, this video blew me away. I'm going to do a full review of this Bible. So stay tuned for those, but I wanted to do a, a fun unboxing video right here uh, to really celebrate them, to get a first look at all of this stuff. If you have questions, drop those in the comments. Let me know. I will try to answer them in the review videos as well as in the comments. If you want to see photos of these, I'll post them on Instagram and Facebook. So please come find me on social media. If you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed seeing this for the first time with me, then smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. I've got tons of great unboxing videos like this. Lots of Bible reviews, just fun Bible related content. That's what I'm all about here on YouTube. So I would love for you to check those things out as well. This was so much fun. Again, shout out, congratulations to my friends at Humble Lamb. I know it's been a big year for y'all, but this looks fantastic. So I'm so excited for you. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time.